What's up, YouTube? This is A.W. Brawler, and I think today I'm just going to talk about one of the elephants in the room. If you've been following me ever since even the East Strange days, you know that I consider Dragon Quest IX to be one of the single greatest stories in video games and my absolute favorite in the Dragon Quest series. In fact, I've been following the Dragon Quest series for quite a while, which kind of brings me directly to the topic of this video. Why is Dragon Quest X just stuck in limbo in Japan. For those of you who were not in the know, Dragon Quest X was an MMORPG that is a massively multiplayer online game. Now, already we see part of the issue why it was never released outside of Japan. Uh, Japan has their own line infrastructure that's a lot different than what we're used to here in the States or anywhere else outside of Japan. And it was probably the first, if I'm not mistaken, Dragon Quest game that actually had a subscription. Whereas at the time, the Wii had free online. But then it came to the Wii U. And we still saw nothing. And now it's even made its way to the Nintendo Switch. And yet still, we see nothing. Again, we do know that one of the main problems is the subscription. But now with Nintendo doing their own paid online, which will be discussed in an upcoming video, now would be the perfect time for them to go ahead and bring this over to the States before Dragon Quest XI comes out. Because honestly, I don't see any true Dragon Quest fan wanting to skip from 9 straight to 11 without even experiencing some part of 10. So for the most part, we see that the problem is that there was an online subscription. But again, Nintendo Switch is getting their own paid service coming up. So if that was the main thing holding them back, why don't they release it now? Like. I hate to say it, but this just may be one of those games that we just never see outside of Japan. But wouldn't that just leave a sour taste in your mouth as a Dragon Quest fan to have from 1 all the way up to 9 available here, but then we have to skip 10 and go straight into 11? I mean, even if they have to do it offline like Xenoblade did and be a bit of an offline MMO type game, we need Dragon Quest 10 in some form or factor before 11 comes out. And I, for some reason, want to believe there is a slim chance that we just might get that before Dragon Quest XI is released. So, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you know what the next video is. Until next time, this is A.W. Brawler saying, be you, be true, be human. And remember fans, we'll touch you when I touch you. Mwah.